Okay everyone, welcome back to CBD Yoga and Fitness. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Mike. Today's video is going to be a nice and short yoga sequence specifically for back pain. So when you're ready, roll your mat, grab some water, and let's get started. Okay everyone, so let's begin this sequence coming into a seated position. Your legs can be crossed or like me, you can have one foot in front of the other here. And let's just take a second to come back to our breath and just come into the moment. So you can place your hands on your knees or in your lap. Feel free to close your eyes here and let's just simply come back to our breath. So currently I am dealing with some back pain myself. That is kind of the reason for making this video today. And whenever I'm dealing with any sort of back pain, I find just some nice light yoga stretches really goes a long way. So that's what we will be doing today. So let's just start by doing some neck tilts. So we're gonna start in the neck and then gradually move down into the rest of our back. So with our neck tilts, let's start by tilting our head to our left and then bringing our right hand, walking it out here. So you should really feel a nice stretch in the right side of your neck. And just breathe into that right side of your neck here. Exhale, slowly release, bring it back to center, and let's take it over to the other side, tilting your head to the right, and then slowly walking that left hand out. And now really breathing into the left side of the neck here. Exhale, slowly release. From here, let's make our way into all fours. Take your time getting here. In, in all fours, let's make sure our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders, our knees are stacked underneath our hips. The tops of the feet are pushing into the mat, as well as the hands are actively pushing into the mat here. Make sure to keep your fingers spread wide. And try and imagine like you're twisting open a pickle jar with your hands. So you should really feel this engagement in the upper arm, the tricep area. And from here, we'll just do a few rounds of cat-cow. So inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round. Do a few more moving with your breath. From here, let's come back to center and then let's extend that right leg out long and just simply rock back and forth here. And from here, let's step our right foot over our left and look back over our left shoulder, back at our right foot. Breathing here. Exhale, come back to center. And from here, let's take it over to the other side, extending that left leg long, rocking back and forth. And 
And then from here, let's step our left foot over our right and look back over our right shoulder, back at our left foot. Breathing here. Exhale, come back to center. From here, let's take an extended child's pose. So bringing the knees as wide as the mat, letting the big toes touch behind you. And then from here, extending the arms along, the forehead can rest in the mat here. This is one of my favorite poses whenever I'm dealing with any sort of back pain, especially lower back pain. And on your next exhale, let's shift it forward and we'll take a brief cobra pose here, a nice back bend. So keeping the knees on the mat, lifting up, opening up the chest, the heart. Feel free to roll your shoulders back here, open up even more. Keep that core slightly engaged. And then exhale, we'll bring it up into a downward facing dog. And feel free to pedal up the feet here, waking up the back of the legs as well. Remember to keep your fingers spread wide, hands actively pushing into the mat. Next inhale, let's lift that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee and step the right foot up in between the hands. Lower the left knee down, left shoelaces down. And from here, let's inhale, rise up into a nice low lunge, keeping that right knee over the right ankle. Core slightly engaged here as well. Arms up overhead, breathe. And on your next exhale, let's bring the hands down and we'll shift it back coming into a runner stretch. Shifting the hips back, straightening that right leg, keeping that right foot flexed. If you have a block or a prop, you can feel free to rest your right hand on the block. And from here, really breathing into the back of the right leg. Exhale, shift it forward, and taking your time, we'll bring it back to downward facing dog. Breathe. On your next inhale, let's lift that left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee, step the left foot up in between the hands. Lower the right knee down, right shoelaces down. From here, let's inhale, rise up, nice low lunge. Keeping that left knee over left ankle, core engaged. Hands up, breathe.
And on your next exhale, bring the hands to the mats. And again, let's shift the hips back, coming into that runner stretch. If you have a block, you can rest your left hand on the block here. Keeping that left foot flexed, really breathing into the back of the left leg. Exhale, release, and again, taking your time, we'll make our way back up into downward facing dog, breathe. From here, let's lower the knees down and we'll make our way onto our backs. And then once we get onto our backs, let's hug our knees in towards our chest. And we'll simply just rock side to side here, massaging the spine. From here, let's guide our knees over to the left. Our right arm can come into a T. Try to make sure both shoulders are firmly rooted in the mat here. Exhale, slowly make your way back to center. And then from here, we'll take it over to the other side, bringing the knees to the right. Left arm can come into a T. Exhale, bring it back to center. From here, we'll come into a reclined butterfly pose. So simply bring the soles of the feet together. Your hands can either rest down by your sides or you can have one hand on your belly, the other on your heart. And on your next exhale, let's extend the legs out long, extend the arms out long, taking up some space, coming into Shavasana. 
Feel free to keep your eyes closed. I encourage you to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you like, or if you want to, we can roll over it to one side into a little fetal position, and then from here, push ourselves up and come back into a seated position of your choice. And that wraps up our practice today. Hope your backs are feeling a little bit better after this. From here, let's bring our hands together at our heart. Thank you all so much for sharing your time and your ener energy with me today. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. That really supports the channel. And from here, let's bring our hands up to our third eye. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much. Namaste.